meeting this evening, and um, we have some warrants to sign, I believe. I will make a motion to sign the warrants. Second. Is little Miss uh, Ruby here? She's getting up some coffee. Okay. okay. We'll wait for Ruby to do that. While we're waiting for her, would you like to okay the... Uh, well, you actually have to wait for Ruby to yeah. be here so oh. she can take notes. Okay. All in favor of signing the warrants. Who made a motion? I got it down. Right okay. We've got this right down. Yeah. 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 I will make a motion. We approve the minutes from May 8th. Yeah. Written. Second. All in favor? Is a school street sidewalk update. All right, so the town received two bids for the repair and replacement of the school street sidewalk and the construction of a sidewalk in the section of Main Street. Main Street construction will be approximately from the intersection of Washington Street and Main Street to the intersection of Main and South Street. The next steps are to grade the bidders according to the federal guidelines and award the project to the company with the highest grade. The grading is based on the following staff qualifications, experience, understanding of and proposed approach of the project and proposer's ability to control project schedule and cost. Price is not included in these proposals, and that was following the step awarding based on the above criteria. Where are the bidders from? We have been invited to the meeting. Uh, yes. Tomorrow, Friday morning at 7. Yeah. Uh, with you and uh, Vicki and Suzette. Anyone else? We're going to be reviewing their qualifications. I'm going to defer to Jason and Vicki on qualifications because I don't know a whole lot about the Casualty Pool Insurance has elected to pay the enrollment fee for the MMA Technology Conference um, that was today, so that just saved us $95 because they covered the cost for her to attend. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, we'll manage your updates. This is Martha. Um, um, question. Yeah, go back, um, looking at the agenda, I just heard about Main Street. What happened to the school street sidewalks? I have a vested interest. <laughs> we just read the update. Where were you here? But yeah. I, I heard about Main Street, Washington Street, the South, but I didn't hear anything about School Street. School Street goes. I'm stealing all of School Street. Yeah, School yeah. Street goes from Main Street to Washington. Street. It's all part of the same. It's all part of this Main Street to Washington Street, and it's all part of yeah, the same Yeah, it's all in one. All right, thank you. There's two, this part of the two bigger packages. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You're on, Dickie. All right. Um, since we met last, the uh, the sidewalks that needed to be repaired and the one across from Stockton Park has been built. 
the uh, big big thanks to uh, Bill Beverly and the DOC crew down in, in the Chayas Port. They was, they was phenomenal. We were lucky to have a couple guys that has done that type of work before and it, it made a hard job a little bit easier for, for us to be able to handle. So I think they come out, I think they come out well and uh, we got a little bit of bat filming to do on. Do we have pictures? I do. Um, Let's pass them around. They're just the, the, uh, fantastic. We got a little bit of back filling to yeah, do on so the long one down to the cross and stuff. It looks great. But uh, Show them. Show them. the uh, the one down here is going to we got to put a riser in for the catch basin you guys want? and yeah. actually finish the uh, coal patch for the uh, the access. And that one will be 100% complete. So sidewalk patch of the cross if everything is done for that. Jason helped too, didn't he? Yeah, it's a he, collaborative effort. He come down and got in the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Costs more to yeah. have him there. Probably, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so that's done. Um, so you're going to tell us what you're doing for the next week or two? Yep, we, come, we, we just went over here and because the talk about what we're going to be doing with the uh, school street sidewalk is to see whether or not we could actually lower the level of the sidewalk down to the road. That and this over good. here was the only good. piece that we had uh, investigated to the point is whether or not we had any more drainage or anything that was buried that we didn't see. And everything that I've seen so far from going from this period right here looks good. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. The only thing I was telling Pete about was he may have a little more of a slope to, to have to mow from his yard to the sidewalk. But so do you think we're going to be lower? The, we're gonna, when they put this when we go over these big specs, is to see whether or not we can actually get it so that there isn't so much of that. Looks good. So I know it does look good. I, you know, people may have forgotten how horrible it used to look. Right. And uh, so it I, looks like those commercials where the guy comes in and fast forwards and buzzes around property. You know, part of the big problem that we have with our sidewalks, and if you look at Water Street, you know, when them cobblestone sidewalks were put in new, they look fantastic. Yeah. But as the years goes by, yeah. it, the maintenance on them is terrible. And it's to the point that the other sidewalks in town that had the 4x4 four four or the 5x5 five five slabs that was hot talked over terrible. is the reason why the sidewalks are looking the way they are is because they're getting pushed up by frost and, and whatever else there is. So that, yeah. that's the reason why a lot of them look, looks the way they did. Are they going to take our space to make I remember when they had all concrete sidewalks there when I was a kid. Yeah. I actually had parking meters there too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, they lasted a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So there's big concrete or slab things under in front of my house. Are they going to be gone? Are they going to take that off and try to start from the ground level to the yes. sidewalk? The, 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 everything on School Street, when this this is what we're going to be grading and looking on is for, for this project we'll, to do the whole entire thing right down to the bottom what of the What about head. from uh, Maine to, to school? front of the monument looks so bad. Are you going to try to take that down to the ground level? Not this year. Not, not any, it won't be this year. The only thing we did is we went, this high. we went down and we actually fixed the uh, damage spots that we okay. didn't get to last year. So where you've seen all the cones on, oh, that, we, we coal patched that no, in. I saw that. So I, I mean it looks a little better than what it did. It's, it's a little safer than what it was. So That's good. So the sidewalk, right now the sidewalk repairs are, are complete for this spring. Can I, I noticed walking, I'm assuming it's the water department that fixed for the hydrant in front of, are they going to repair that sidewalk? Yes. They are, okay. Yes. They okay. Yeah. Um, our next steps are, oh, Lions Road was scraped. We okay. also went in and, uh, staked it off back to a 20, a 22 foot surface because the drainage and the cup and the ditches in there are terrible. The roads are the part of the reason why the roads are the shape they are in there. So as we get out of town this summer, we're going to be headed into straight, into straight bay to work on the dirt roads in there. Uh, way into straight bay, I'm hearing we're going to have a little bit of rain Sunday, Monday -ish. So I'm waiting to, to get in there and scrape that because it is scraping hard already. Um, we're going to be down on 
Dewey, Mowry, Lower Pleasant Street starting next week with the uh, trying to, to do whatever we can do in the amount of time that we got to uh, take care of some water issues down there with the sidewalk situation that it, on lower water. We're going to be doing rises for these, any storm drains and sewer system because I believe with the work that we've done and when we complete that, lower water will be hot top ready. Um, depending on what we can get done on Dewey, Mowry, Lower Pleasant Street within the next month, we'll, we'll tell the tale where we stand with being able to do anything more mm -hmm. on hot top there. Particularly, are you planning on putting that paving into next year's paving? Uh, this, this year, this part, year's budget? Parts of it, yes. <coughs> parts of it will be, parts of it depends on what's completed. What, what happens? When we, leave, when we leave town, we are going to pumping station. We're going to start right at 189. We're going to cut the shoulders off all the way down and get that so that the water's not running out of into the road from sea farms down and then back in again. We want to, we went down, tried to take care of the problem three quarters of the way down last year. We're going to start at the top and work, go all the way down. We're going to complete that. When that's done, we're going to straight bay and that's where we'll finish out the season until we have to come back and do hot top. At one time on, I think it was pumping station corner where you turned off, there was a uh, it almost felt like it was falling apart. The road was caving in. That it's where the old uh, Tippy's restaurant used to be there. Yes. There, yes. there was a hole there, and yeah. the, the states come in in the meantime and, and filled it with something and, and capped it. Okay, <laughs> so it's okay. I, I, I turned around there today, so it's. It, it, I was kind of curious about the same thing when I turned. Yeah. Around, but. So outside of any anything that happens or details that needs needs our attention. Immediately, that's our that's our projects for the next two to three months. So let me ask you a question: Are you working? So I know you need to have two people every time you, you go anywhere to work on the roads. So if you were to have another worker for the third person and have two teams, you get twice as much done. We can get this. That's one way to look at it, and it was to the point. You know, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out how you do that. But it's also to the point, you know, when when you talk about safety and, and the regulations of how you do it, we're supposed to have flaggers. So our budget, our budget actually is supposed to have in there whether or not we hire them, prof professional flaggers, or we take the training ourselves. That you're supposed to have two flaggers on every job that you do. And for and for the amount of work that we're trying to do in the streets that we're doing it on, I mean, I don't even have the proper signs to have or cones to have to put up there in order to make it safe. But it make, every time you put a sign or a, or a set of cones out, they're a magnet. You could work all day long with no cones, no signs, no nothing, or people wouldn't know you're there. But the minute you put that stuff out there, it's nonstop. Yeah. Everybody's driving around. For safety purposes, we went through that the water district. I'm sure yeah. you've got to go somewhere and learn what signs, what kind of signs to put out. Because if you don't, if somebody gets in an accident, you're all liable. And we had some and great and tragedy you're, this And you're the week. responsible person. Absolutely. You know, and I, and I don't want to bring tragedies out. But I mean, no. you know, when one does happen, you know, it opens up everybody's eyes in the mm -hmm. communities around. So, I mean, we, everybody, we should all take a look at home yes. and, and see what we either can do or should be doing that yes. we're not already doing. It. The thing is, Dickie, what, what I like that you do is you put a physical barrier between you and the traffic. You always have a truck parked there. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Training. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Sergeants. Yeah. Exactly. Can I ask a question? Uh, of course. Um, what are we doing with the town uh, yard refuse? The dump out behind the um, real estate office. Uh, so and I would just add to that. I've seen several dump trucks come in from out of town. I've watched them drive in, dump their yard waste, and then leave, and it's every day. The second question I have... To take pictures? No. Um, there's a... And this is probably for the board, but there are some 
businesses in town that are being paid to remove waste and then coming to the taxpayer funded uh, recycle, if you would. Brush uh, recycle. Yeah, yeah, and using it for free I'm ad nauseum. So where's the limit here? Like, Dan, there is none because I, you know, you know, we all try to tell our kids and teach our kids to either you are allowed to do this or you are not allowed to do that. We have more adults in this neighbor in this community that can't follow them instructions because I pushed that off today and they're still dumping lumber, they're still dumping plywood, they're still dumping things that should not be dumped, and we have done everything that we can possibly do to help make it better, easier, more economical, efficient, everything. Well, and, and, and I know it's a small point, but it's, it's a principal issue for me, and the taxpayers deserve to have access to that, but we have contractors that are coming in from out of town and dumping their refuse in that pit. And then we have local commercial guys that are dumping their refuse in that pit. I thought we were supposed to have a locked cable. Mm. It's all ready. It's all set. I was there yesterday. was not locked. No. The bottom's locked. The top's We were locked. supposed to have a key, and they were supposed to come here and use the key and sign but, out a key. But we didn't set up anything in order to what we, how we was going to manage it, how we was going to maintain it. I thought we're all the in. office was all set we up are, and a bunch of keys. We are, we've got everything. We're 99.5% the way there. We just need, we need the direction from the board as into what are we going to charge, when do the keys have to be in. I thought we had it all spelled out. And that, and that shouldn't all default to you either. That's why I'm saying, like, what can we do to help? Yeah. Because I know we've opened up the upper lot. We, right. We've, we've got everything set. And it's, and it's fixed now so that you can either shut everything off and leave the road open so the clamors mm -hmm. can go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Because the bottom section down there, the big section down there is completely closed right now. Mm -hmm. This cable is no dumping. You can get down there. The only thing you do is go to the beach. Unless you dump something illegally on the outside, and that yeah. wouldn't surprise me if that's happening too. So. It, to me, it's more of a principal issue. It's not, it is, it's it not is. a huge issue. But. It's not, because it ought to be as plain as the day is long. Don't do it. If you're not going to do, if you're not going to dump what you're supposed to dump there, don't even turn off the road to go in there. Your only next choice would be to have it taped. I mean, have it like a... we got cameras, but I mean, it's to the point... You know, I've got to get down and I've got to pull cards to check it because, I mean, it's not, we don't have the ones that come to my phone every day or every time somebody goes down in there. But, I mean, it's, it's, it is under surveillance. But mm -hmm. what, how are we going to enforce it? Mm -hmm. even, even if we catch somebody, what, how are we going to enforce it? Well, I mean, if, you, if you're uh, dumping building debris, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, period. That's illegal. Dickie, didn't Suzette order cameras like that she has at her house for out there? Not for there. The, the, that's for to the town garage. Okay. Okay. Are those hooked up? Yeah, uh, almost. Okay. That's so you can check them on your phone. Yes. Yes. Because that's the issue I'm having right now is actually getting the connection because the internet of this sucks. Okay. That's everything I have. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much you. for all your hard work. For closed properties. Do we have closed properties? So we currently, in your package, you'll see we have four foreclosed properties um, that we gave a little bit of time to see if any late payments came in for those. Um, we have not received anything. However, with the new standard laws that have come into effect and they're changing, every week right now. Um, it was suggested that we hold off to get legal advice on what we can do with some of these. Just what? because now it's the, um, the special sale is for all properties, not just requested. Mm. And isn't it just for properties where they're actually residing? In nope, the it's property? all properties all now. E even land? Yep. Um. Yeah. So we're we're holding. So, we will, so we're going to table doing anything with foreclosed properties. So we have legal advice. So yeah. I'll make a motion for that. Okay. Second. Yeah. Second. All in favor. So we're going to table that. Yep. MMA Safety Grant Award. Is this that we got a award? I think it's a little under two thousand. Is it? 
It's going to be for fi the fire, fire department. 2,800. Oh, On behalf of MMA, Workers' Compensation Fund, going to go to public works or? Grants. There are stipulations, and I'm not sure on what all of those are. This was just the award letter that we did get the grant program for safety of uh, 2836. It says right there that grant is to be used exclusively for the purchasing of cones, signs, oh, and this would be, yes. I was like, I knew there was something. Get those signs that money for you. <laughs> That's it. Right. Just I, know we, I knew we had put it in, put in for it, but I didn't. You know, you know, we got who, it. Who, oh, I didn't know if it was going to be for us. Or for us. Oh, well, it sounds like it's for you. So DMR resiliency grant, something I'm looking into. Um, I know it's due June 10th. It's only about 10 pages long. It's going to be for the commercial peer. I hope that we're going to use it in conjunction with the FEMA money, um, it's being managed by Chris Mayo, who runs the ship, the ship grants, which is the Small Harbor Improvement Grant. It's just a special grant that was just, just released about a week ago, and it's a very quick turnaround, so I'm only waiting for a estimate from Prop Marine as to what it's going to cost. Um, Chris Mayo did come up here for a safe harbor meeting a few weeks ago and he did look at it and thinks that we should go ahead and ask for all half a million dollars. And the ship grant, it's a 50-50 match, so we're hoping that we can either get the, the 2500 from one and 2500 from another so we don't have to pay anything. That's my plan. Good. So we'll see how it goes. And I will have it done by June 10th. Okay. <laughs> Open municipal bids. Open. So the only bid that, as we said, called and asked us to hold off on was the uh, heating, heating fuel bid because we contracted out 6,000 uh, gallons and we only use like 2,800. And there's an issue with whether we owe that or whether we give them, like whoever we, I think it was, who did we have the heating? Dead River. Dead River. Dead River. Dead River that we're in negotiation with Dead, Dead River to see what they can do. Because normally you're you're ob obliged to take the, the you're amount on the hook that you for set. The amount of dollars for the gallons that you did not use. Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, so uh, it, would, it, it would have behooved us to underestimate what we need to use and not. Is, I guess. But I believe that they're going to give us some kind of a, um, uh, some kind of a proposal that's going to take that into consideration and we're not going to be hit with that. Is there any reason why we do not include the school in We've that? We've been through this. That? We should. And, uh, we should buy it together. I mean, there I would like to... Our there was some reason why we didn't do There was some reason with the superintendent's office oh, last yeah. year that... that because they that go that out and get their group in I think, no, AOS. I, well, I think it had something to do with some of the other towns have like their own little oil, so like they, they couldn't get well, they couldn't get to where like it could all be in. So I don't, you well, know. Well, the thing of it is, is, I know a couple towns that got fuel from uh, Tamro. That's who it was. Yeah. And Tamro won't deliver to us, right. and our fuel costs a lot more than where the line stopped with Tamro. So I'd like to see us. Because, I mean, we're trying to save on every budget that we have. Mm -hmm. well, I think it makes sense for the school in the town to buy the royalty. I mean, they can't put candles off if I went in. Mm -hmm. They'd love to come and do that. I was told they wouldn't come. That, that we're too far out of their way, is what I was told. Well, they're in Wiking. I was like, why can't you come to that? So that's not something we're going to be able to do this year anyway. No, but I mean, but I believe that, you know, as hard as, as high as the budgets are increasing and the taxes are going up, that we should be doing whatever it takes to just to boil the back. Not, the town don't worry always, about the other towns. always been willing to work with the school. But the school has to come, we have to have group meetings, budget, group budget meetings, and we've done that in the past. Yep. We've had the school budget. I would welcome it. We would too. Well, it's going to save us all money. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, so one thing too, Kara, we're, you guys, <coughs> we're responsible for the majority of the LCOC students. Our school budget. Uh, so that's, that's a big, big one. So do you have to 
you know what happened with yours? Did you contract it out? Did you go over? Did you go under? How did that work for you? It's not over, but I mean, I, we are buying so many thousands of gallons of, of fuel. We're, uh, we're over 100,000. So, well, well, what I mean in our usual, as far as our usage, the cost is going, what's killing us because we have, we're, not getting, we're not getting a rate where we're getting used favorably. Well, okay, so why don't you find out if the AOS managing that? Are you, are you getting your fuel yourself? We get our own bids. We, we, we open our own bids for our fuel, for all of it, for our trash. For, same thing for the town. <laughs> That's why, you know, even though we're, we may be AOS with all these other area schools, if we're okay. still responsible for our costs. Okay, so you do costs, that. Well, I don't know why we're not doing it together. We need to work, we need to work together for the town. Mm -hmm. yep. I agree. We got a pretty good fight, so without Foster, did we disappear there? I mean, it is, but I mean, when you did, I mean, did River will bid for the town, but they won't bid for the school, but that makes no sense to me. And we have a lot more fuel at the school than we do here at the town. So they won't say, you've asked them to bid and they don't bid? Well, you, I mean, you don't, as far as asking, you put it out. Yeah, well, there's there's, there's there's more than one way to ask for a bid. You can put you can advertise, but you can also call three people. You're also allowed to do that. You can in, you can invite anybody to bid. It's not prejudicial at all. It, as long as it's in the paper, you can like that's how that's how I got any bids for the safe harbor. Is I called and asked, and nobody would have known who we were right. or where or where we were. Well, anyway, just to make a long story short, so this you is have something to call I would like to ask. work on with, with the board slightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. Well, I don't know whether we I've can work out this year. Years, I've been saying So that we're not even going to do our fuel our fuel bid tonight because we have to negotiate with Dead River, and so maybe we can work on we can work on it. But we're, we you don't you certainly don't want to share the airport mowing or the landfill mowing so that we can open. <laughs> That's not something the school would be interested in sharing with us. I don't know, we might be with uh, mowing here. We do separate mowings, separate. Uh, we separate bids, one for the airport, one for the landfill. And one for the roadside. Oh, I didn't get that yet. Okay, so this is um, airfield mowing. I didn't have to write this down. Airport mowing? Yep, it's JP Properties. And they want for the airfield mowing forty-four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Um, does it say like how many times? Or Whatever it as, as needed. As May needed. May to October thirty-first. Removal and disposal of all limbs, leaves, and other debris is needed. Ground cleanup as well. So let's find another airport one. Here, airport one. So this one. Is. Gary Morrison, 